Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, about a navigation page in .NET MAUI. Uh, you know that uh, .NET uh, MAUI provide a navigation page uh, and you, you know that a navigation page provides a hierarchical navigation experience where you are able to navigate through pages. Uh, actually navigation page provides a last in first approach. Uh, you can say that a LIFO and based on the stack. And the navigation page uh, class also defines three events, post, popped and uh, popped to root. And you can say that a navigation have a one event uh, navigation model async, a push model async you can say. Uh, so uh, in this video tutorial just I am going to about, uh, about example of navigation page. So uh, here we have a view and the view model also there. And in the view section, just I'm going to add uh, three pages, mm, add new item. And here we have an item that is uh, .NET MAUI. And in the .NET MAUI, select content page. That is the first page, first of all. So here we have the first page uh, for the navigation. If you want to add a navigation, then uh, must to add the all pages in the navigation stack. So uh, first of all, you can say that uh, here we have a app dot uh, dot cs file. So you can add here uh, navig uh, navigation page right here, and in the navigation page, just add this page first of all. That is the first page example. So here we have the first page. So uh, the first page is going to the navigation stack first of all. So the first page rendered uh, in the navigation stack. So here we have the first page that is the label will be display. And in the uh, you can say that here you can take the button control also button and the horizontal option is center and the vertical option is also center and the text of the button control is the first page button. Okay. So here we have the first page button. And uh, when we click that button, just go to the navigation stack. So just handling that click event, click is goes to new event handler. So here we have when we click on that button, um, button control, then move to the second page. So here we have the view section and add a new page like that, a uh, new item. And in the new item, you can just add the second page. That is the second page. And in the second page, you can just say that welcome uh, from the first page. So here we have a label control. Welcome from first page. Okay, so just navigate to the uh, first page. So first page dot XML file that is the button click event handling in the first page. Here you can say that the navigation navigation okay dot <coughs> push async here we have two method is there that is the push async and push model async Nav uh, just when we click on the button control that navigation will be push that page into the stack that is created um, in the app.xml the first time where your first page is uh, actually uh, added in the stack at the position of the zero okay so uh, when we click on the button control on the uh, that is placed on your first page when we click on the button control that page is pushed to the uh, the position uh, on the stack that is the second position so new second page in the first page so here we have Okay, so second page will be uh, display right here and with the label control welcome from the first page and also you can take it here that is the button control and here we have button uh, two button control with the text that is go to third page and uh, horizontal option is center. Uh, horizontal option is center and vertical option is center 
and the clicked event is also there go to the third page so first of all you can just add push async model async right here and another button control text is go to first page there is the second uh, here we have a second page so just go to the previous page you can say so go to first page and horizontal option is center and vertical option is also center and the click event handling will be called click equals to new button event handling okay so here we have two button control when we uh, the first button will be uh, is clicked that go for the push model async so in the first button you can say uh, that is the navigation dot push async with the new third page is not there so just create it first third page so just save and add a new page new item and dot net maui content page the page name is the third page right here and you have to add welcome uh, from the second page here you can write welcome from second page in the third page in the second page also we have the previous button that just go for the uh, first page so navigation dot pop async and just add it and pop I mean to say that index number uh, second to first move to the first position the uh, actually pointer is moved from the second position to the first position in the pop async okay so here we have that is the scenario that is the go from the third page so here we have a third page welcome from the second page and if you want to open a new window uh, that is uh, that is separated from the current stack then you can just add a new button control and click event handling and you can say that uh, text is welcome okay uh, for new stack new stack on okay go to first page and here we have horizontal option is center and vertical option is center okay that's fine now when we click uh, just uh, check it first of all uh, run not run it on windows machine and here you can say that the first time the first page uh, will render on your windows machine and if, uh, if you can see on your emulator then you can uh, you can okay so wait for some few seconds it will run on your windows machine okay so here we have the navigation page will be rendered in the blue screen here we have the title is first page but not uh, inside in the back arrow but back arrow is visible then we just go for the second page so welcome to the dot dot maui and go to the second page when we click on the sec uh, go to the second page then you can see that here we have a back arrow is visible and uh, just go for the second page welcome to dot net maui okay so uh, here we have okay so just i want to move uh, uh, from uh, second page to the third page but it is not visible the button controls right here in the second page you can see in the second page here we have two button controls so the save all and you can see uh, the welcome to the first page vertical stack layouts so here we have a second page but it's not visible you can see in the second page welcome to welcome from the first page but right here here uh, welcome to the dot net maui and you just go to the first page first of all first page dot sample file and you just uh, see that a new second page 
uh, push async is also there what happening second page is the title the text is not visible okay is there anything wrong in vertical stack layout just change the stack layout in the second page the first page dot seven file here we have a push async so second page is rendered into the memory and the first page go to the second page it's well fine but the control is not visible on the second page okay 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 so you can see that uh, also i uh, have a root uh, page have the first page and the second page is also there so second page is that like uh, that is the second page so this is the second page so just i want to move uh, uh, on that page that is the second page dot saml file so you can say uh, this is the second page in the file so movi namespace is movi app just i want to move from the first page Maui tutorials and MVVM dot just change the namespace first of all on the second page dot sml and here we have a namespace is the same between the second page and the first page so you can see then the second page is what uh, that is the second page and just go for the here we have a movie tutorials so okay so in the second page you can say that uh, the second page dot xaml file okay but that second page is under the movie app one so the first page dot saml dot cs file new app dot second page okay so everything is fine now uh, just do the same thing in the third page so second page dot cs html file so movi app we have one dot third page okay okay so everything is fine now just uh, run on your windows machine if you have uh, two pages with the different namespace the root file will be called first uh, first so here we have the first page go to the second page and you will see that that is the welcome to dot maui again the same thing But in, that is the not pick that file because this is the uh, that file will be picked the first time. Okay, and uh, just change the name first of all because both names are same. So 
or you can say that delete that page first of all if you can delete the page then you will see what page will be called first okay also the first page will be deleted in the resources So uh, the first page, the first page button is visible. So the second page is the, like looking like that. Welcome from the first page and go to the third page. So here we have a third page and uh, for the new stack go to the first page. So here we have a pop up uh, with the new window. You can say when we click on to this first page uh, on this button control, then you will display that button on the first page and go to the first page go to the first page then you will pop up the page go to the third page and just click on the for new stack go to the first page so just handling on the third page that is third page dot saml file and just you can say uh, navigation dot push model async and here we have new first page then you will see that a new navigation stack will be created instead of uh, the old one so just go for the windows machine and you will see uh, here we have a new navigation stack will be created and a separate window will be opened on the third page and here we have a first page go to the third page and for the new stack go to the third page then you will see that there we have the first page go to the button but without any stacks without any stack information go to the second page also will be uh, nothing is uh, happening because it's a new navigation stack uh, okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to dotnet maui and asp.net core